This is Shoes for YHP Men's 2021. This is going to be an update on shoes that I reviewed previously, uh, two years ago now, for White Feet. And then I'm going to go over some shoes that I am wearing currently. These are all size 14. I'm uh, six foot two, or size 14. Currently, I am wearing the Adidas Swift Terex. Um, I bought this shoe specifically as an all day shoe because it was waterproof and I bought it. Uh, around the beginning of winter time uh, in the fall actually I bought it in the fall last year uh, works worked out great uh, did some hiking did some camping with it uh, it's got great grip and uh, the waterproof my feet stayed dry the whole time uh, the only issue that I had with this shoe was um, the Gore-Tex on the inside as the weather gets warmer or as the weather got warmer, the uh, shoe became pretty hot to wear. And that's pretty much the only complaint I have about this one, this shoe. I, I love this shoe. Uh, sneakers. I have the Adidas Hoops 2.0. I bought this sneaker because I, I love Adidas shoes. My favorite shoe growing up was the Samba. However, my feet outgrew those, and uh, Adidas, they do tend to be kind of narrow around the toes and I was hoping that this shoe would would be a, a good fit for my foot um, it did fit however I was hoping it would stretch out around the toes that never happened so it's still a little narrow here around the toes and um, maybe if I were gonna buy another pair I might buy a 14 and a half but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be buying another pair of these uh, Probably look for something different. Next is the uh, Asics GT2000. These are my workout shoes. I also reviewed these in that previous video and um, still in great condition because I only wear them inside uh, to work out uh, or to the gym. Um, well, gyms are barely open and again, so. <laughs> So yeah, I just I just wear these to work out uh, inside, or when I'm training martial arts. If we happen to be in the studio, I'll, I'll wear these to the studio. Um, these are very comfortable, great fit for the foot. Asics always makes a good shoe. Um, next, I have the high tech hiking boot. I bought this during the winter time specifically just to wear in the snow, just to go and play in the snow. Uh, they are rather uh, bulky and heavy compared to the Adidas here. You can see how uh, much wider they are and how uh, much bulkier they are. You know, do a side by side here. Um, I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna be wearing these at all during the summertime to go on hikes. I probably will just because I have them now. But my intention when I first bought them was just to uh, wear them in the snow because they are waterproof. Um, they worked out pretty good the times that I did wear them in the snow. They're kind of hard to lace up again because they are uh, pretty bulky. Now these shoes over here I did review in that previous Shoes for White Feet Men's video. The Keens are my summertime shoes. Uh, Two years now uh, since I made that first video, and I, I do believe I can wear these for another summer. They work out great in the in the water, on the sand, on the trail, pretty much any uh, environment. These these shoes have worked great. Now with summertime around the corner, I, I've uh, got these reef sandals. I We'll be getting a new pair of sandals this summer. These, have, as you can see, have, have worn out pretty, pretty well. Um, these are really comfortable. They do have an arch in them, and they Reef makes a great sandal. So that's what this one looks like uh, two years later. Next, uh, these are the uh, New Balance Nitrile. I bought these as my running shoe, workout shoe. They became my uh, martial arts training shoe. As soon as I got these uh, ASICs here, 
Uh, wear these outside. You see they're pretty beat up. Uh, the materials failed here. Um, so kind of tight. Uh, I think this this just happened because of how long I've, I've had these. Um, I probably won't buy another pair just for this simple fact that, you know, the material will rip. Um, but again, these are probably three years old now. And uh, I, st I still wear them to train out outside. This doesn't bother me. Um, so maybe I'll get another pair. I don't know. They are really comfortable. And then last, I have my work boots. <laughs> As you can see, they've been doing nothing but collecting dust. Uh, I've been a stay-at-home dad for three years now. Uh, these were my uh, dress boots that I wore with my suits when I was working. They were really comfortable, and they uh, looked really nice. But since I haven't had to wear a suit for three years, and uh, you know how... Uh, things happened this last year with uh, work at home becoming the uh, the new norm. Uh, haven't had a use for them anymore. So, um, and then with the shutdown, right? There's nowhere to go and dress up. So, uh, there's nowhere to dress up and go out to. So, yeah, they've just been collecting dust. Uh, but these are rock ports. If you're in the uh, market for uh, dress boots. I can suggest rock ports. As you can see, the bottom here is blown out. I did uh, do a lot of lot of walking in these. I was a supervisor at a at a hotel bar, and uh, lots of running around, lots of walking in those. Those are these were great work boots. I would love to get another pair of these uh, just to have for whenever I do dress up again. So these are my shoes for Wide Feet Men's. Uh, I have made individual reviews on, on most of them. I'll leave links in the description below where you can go and check them out. Uh, pick up a pair for yourself if you like. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will suggest that you check out this uh, Adidas Tarek Swift over here. And I'll see you over there.